morning. Welcome to the Fearless Morning Show. We are having confessions and conversations. Confessions and conversations about everyday life and finances. Um, she is your host, I mean, she's Judge Alato, so what better place to be than here? They only um, live the past. Only, I need you know to speak up a little bit. You know what? The only live past crazy specialist, so what better place to be than here with her? Why you gotta say it like that? Good like, morning. Hello, Miss Margaret. In half a mile, turn left on Due West Road Northwest. I forgot to turn off the gym. Turn Linda off. I'm sorry. I forgot to turn Linda off. Good morning. So, I was. Yeah. Rosie overslept this morning. I did not oversleep. Yes, you did. If I did, I don't recall. Because <laughs> you were asleep. But I didn't oversleep. <laughs> Yes, you did. No, no, I didn't. I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure it didn't happen. Like, like the bowl that I put that up. So, hold on. You see that mommy hand come up? Oh. <laughs> I got you, girl. <laughs> yep, that's how you do it. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And Rosa, you did an awesome job this morning in Thank spite you. of the correction and instruction. You did an awesome job. Thank you. Just saying. Whatever. Contrary to popular belief. <laughs> right, exactly. You're not fixing to talk about me while I'm sitting in the car. That's what you're not fixing to do. But you're driving. Good morning, man. Good morning, good morning, everyone. It is Hump Day yeah. Wednesday, y'all. Um, say that again, I'm sorry. She, my GPS was talking, and her name, we call her Linda. And she was like, can you turn Linda off? I was like, no, I can't turn Linda off because then I'll turn the show off. So. Right, right. So we just had to listen to your instructions. We know that you were a quarter mile due west road or something yeah we that's all right we uh <laughs> we we here now all right good deal good deal well guys good morning and welcome to the show our quote this morning is life is 10 percent what happens to you 90 percent how you respond that's by mr charles swindle so make sure that you're paying attention to not only what's happening to you but how do you react in those situations that come upon you today, just make sure that you check yourself. So yesterday, guys, um, I had to go get my little one from school. We get to the school, y'all, there are SWAT presents, undercover police cars, dogs. Um, guys, you, you show up at your child's school and you see all of this going on, you think, what in the world parents were going off they wouldn't let anyone into the building to get their kids um but the school didn't tell us anything it, everything happened so quickly they couldn't tell us so long story short what ended up happening is apparently a kid from at the high from the high school um has been involved in a major crime and they're looking for him so i hope it has absolutely nothing to do with that 16 year old who was killed in newton county um the other day but guys it was just it's unfathomable to show up at your child's school and then to see that kind of stuff especially with all the things that are happening guys so make sure that quote was very important today life is 10 percent what happens to you 90 percent how you respond so make sure that you're responding to things in the most appropriate way because all of the parents didn't respond in the most appropriate way. They just wanted to get their kids and run out of the building. But there are processes and procedures for a reason, okay? Don't run out of there and run into a situation, okay? That's all I'm saying, y'all. Just be cognizant of that today. All right, guys. I'm Lynn Demons, America's number one financial rebound coach. Miss Margaret, I definitely need to contact with you so I can get your address, get Strength Finders 2.0 out to you. Um, via mail so you can get that this week um hopefully we can get that shipped out to you if you did send the information and i miss it that's okay i'll go back and look but make sure i get that from you so life is 10 percent what happens to you and 90 percent how you respond i know rose is like mama will you please hurry up and change this camera <laughs> okay 
That's um, exactly what she was saying. They just have to go. <laughs> Where do you have to go? Well, first of all, I have to take the walk, and then I have to go see Miss Sanford, and then I, I, I don't want to go see my math teacher. You need to go like, see your math teacher. I don't teacher. like him. I don't care. It really doesn't matter if it, you don't like him or not. Yeah, we it don't does. Really care. Mm-hmm. So okay. I have you a math really. teacher uh, story I can share with you later, Rosie. I don't want to put it out there now because she's still living, and somebody might know her and the circle. I run in in education. Everybody knows everybody. So we'll talk about that yeah. later. Um, <laughs> Have a good day. Be peaceful. Okay. Thank you for the guacamole, mommy. You're welcome, Rosie. Anytime. Thanks, Mom. You didn't yeah. even make it. Well, I bought it. Yeah, two weeks ago. And she didn't want to use okay. it. Never mind. I'm no, just about the... That guacamole was just mushed up avocados. Hey, hey. Say, man, they wasn't about to get that. Okay, true confessions and conversations over here at the Fearless Morning Show. That's the teen edition. Y'all know if y'all have teens, y'all go through similar <laughs> situations every morning. <sighs> Don't laugh because you know it's real. We just got to deal with it. It is what it is, right, y'all? Good Love morning you. and thank you for joining the show. Don't forget to share out this show because the information is invaluable to those who put it to you. Remember, life is 10%. What happens to you? 90% how you respond, okay? <laughs> how are you responding to your situations today? Right. <laughs> All right, guys. So what, do I, what is this uh, fearless financial connection this morning? Um, like I said, I'm Lynn Demons, America's number one financial rebound coach. And I have some ex- some information to share with you guys. I don't know if you caught it or if you didn't catch it. Um, it was actually released last week. Um, yeah, Trenda, you got to talk to your Rosie because she be tripping sometimes. She's still <laughs> a good kid. She's a good kid regardless, right? She is a good kid. Um, guys, but today, yep, everyday life with your teenagers. <laughs> I'm thankful, y'all. My baby is eight years old. We're not quite in that, in that space yet. He's always, what I got to get past is he likes to get hugs and cuddles all the time so that's what i'm dealing with with an eight-year-old but anyway so let's look at this guys today's financial confession and conversation money beliefs that keep you broke is the topic of the day um oftentimes guys we self-sabotage around when it comes to our money because of some of those money beliefs that we were born with right That money is simply a tool. And when we understand that, we can use that tool in the way that it was meant to be used. We can use the tool to help us to show up in a bigger way in our lives. So we have to push past some of these beliefs that have been passed on to us. I know, Charlene, I'm waiting on it. I'm waiting, but I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that I will be the one, that I have the one, right? (laughs) Who will be different? I'm hopeful, but we'll see. Um, But guys, yes, money is a tool for you to show up in a bigger way. And how do you show up in a bigger way? It's because you have to do things decently and in order. The number one thing that I hear a lot is that I'm not good with money. That's what a lot of people say. And you ask yourself, do I say that? Do I say that with the way that I manage my money? I'm not good with money. But the challenge is, guys, just like a baby is not born knowing how to talk. A baby is not born knowing knowing how to walk. And the baby doesn't know how to write his name, right? Just like a baby doesn't know how to do those things, just because you don't know how to, you're not good with money right now, does not mean that you cannot learn to be good with money, that you cannot better manage your money because what money is a tool. So you have to know how to use that tool in the right way. One of the things, y'all, and this is huge. I don't know if you guys caught this. uh, Was it last week? There is a change coming. There's change in the air, not just changing from the 2018 to the 2019 year, But there's change coming when it comes to the FICO score when we talk about your credit, all right? There's a change coming. It's called the new ultra FICO score, right? And I'm saying this is happening in 2019. It's going to roll out. It doesn't mean you can't do anything in 2018. You still have 61 days. 
Don't let that slip by. You have 61 days left in 2018 that you can use to impact your financial life, that you can use to get the education that you need so you can do better. But that new ultra FICO score is going to change the game for some. So I want to take some time to talk a little bit about that this morning, just in case you missed it, because they talked about it on ABC. There have been different reports that have been put out around it. Um, a couple of people have done videos on it, but I haven't seen a lot of conversation around this new ultra FICO score, okay? So FICO, for those who may not be aware, FICO, F-I-C-O, of course, a lot of people use it in terminology with your credit score. We know the FICO ranges from 300 to 850, right? Good morning. And looking at this, guys, this ultra FICO score, guess which one of the credit bureaus is going to be handling this new ultra FICO score in 2019? It's actually going to be Experian. Okay? It's Experian. Experian <laughs> is going to handle this. She going back to decent and in order. <laughs> All right, that's good. That's good. As long as you get back on, that's what matters most. So guys, looking at this ultra FICO score, what's going to change, what will be different um, is the fact that Experian is now going to be handling the rollout. So it's not going to happen for everyone right away but it behooves us to get ready. The ultra FICO score is going to do something different. You know how in the past, on your credit reports, the way that everything was calculated, it was basically looking at how much money was loaned to you and the amount of money that you have available to you and how you utilize that, whether or not you paid your bills on time. Those things were huge and comprised your credit score. But guess what they're going to do different now? They're going to do your information in regards to your bank account y'all your bank account is now going to be included in the equation with this ultra fico score so let me backtrack for a minute because i need to give you some context as to why this is happening so this fico score game came into the uh, into our realm, shall I say, back in 1989. 1989 was when the real first FICO score uh, came out. And then they've done some things over time to improve. If you go back and look at the history of the FICO score, they've done some things to improve what, what the creditors can now use to determine whether or not you are a viable customer to get a particular loan, whether it's a loan for your car, to buy a home, whatever it is that you're borrowing money to be able to do. And what they're finding out for the creditors is that it's becoming more difficult for them to determine the true credit worthiness of an individual. And why are they saying that it's becoming more difficult? Good morning, Minister Valerie. Thank you for joining us. So it's becoming more different, difficult for them because, y'all, the consumer is getting becoming more savvy. And because the consumer is becoming more savvy, there are different things that are out there for us, right? We all know about the authorized user on the credit card accounts. Yeah, that gives you, you know, extra money available to you, but you don't really have access to it. You're not really utilizing it. You're playing the game, right? Or you are... Don't keep going. <laughs> or you are um, utilizing the credit repair companies. A lot of people are now utilizing the credit repair companies to get things removed from their credit not really changing the way that they've handled money, but they're getting things removed and it immediately changes the picture, financial picture for them. So it looks to the creditor that you're doing a better job. So they said, we need some real information, right? We need real data that tells us a real picture, a more clear picture as to how this person does business. And not everybody has credit available to them. So they said well, there's an opportunity here. And this is where the ultra FICO score comes into play, guys. The ultra FICO score has both pros and cons. So let me go over some of both of those. Because the ultra FICO score will be using your bank account, the pros to that is if 
you have a bank account, but you don't have a lot of credit, it can open doors for you to be able to get access to credit, especially if you have a great bank account, you know, history, you're not overdrawn. What they will be doing is looking at it in a 90-day period. So every 90 days, they'll be looking at the activity inside of your bank account to help determine your credit score. Now, this can be huge for some people. If you can, you always have money in your bank account and you, you know, you're utilizing it, of course, because it's your, they're looking at your checking account. They're not looking at your savings account. So we have to be clear on that. Your checking account is where that information is coming from. That's the data that they're collecting on you. So if they see utilization inside of your checking account, this has the potential to increase your credit score 20 points. So this is huge for people who have like scores in the 600s, right? This is huge that 20 points could possibly push you over into the 700s or you in the low 700s, it can push you up in the 720s. So that's a huge opportunity for those people um, who fit that criteria. Yes, they will be utilizing your 90-day bank activity to do this. Now, for those who are living paycheck to paycheck, it can also present some problems. So this is where the cons come in, right? If you're living paycheck to paycheck, you're not able to maintain a $400 balance in your bank account, okay? That's something else I should have mentioned in the, on the pro side. As long as you can keep an average daily balance of $400 in your bank account over that 90-day period, those 20, 20 points can be yours. However, on the flip side, if you're living paycheck to paycheck, sometimes you're overdraft, and I get it, things happen. Sometimes your overdraft has to kick in for you because you, you know, you missed writing uh, a particular bill and then you have to pay the $35 late fee or whatever the case may be. And that can impact you and that goes into your overdraft. So if they're utilizing your bank account information and they see, okay, she's utilizing her overdraft protection on a bi-weekly or a weekly basis, then that has the possibility to lower your credit score once this ultra FICO score goes into effect. So I'm sharing this with you now so that you guys can prepare and get in front of that. We still have 61 days in 2018 for you to be able to do the things that you know that you can do to improve your credit scores, guys. Why do I say that? Because oftentimes, you know, we'll say big mama told me not to get credit. Big Mama said that credit is the devil. In actuality, guys, no, it's not if you're utilizing it in the right way. So those are some of the myths and misconceptions around money. Remember, money is a tool that you can use to show up in a bigger way, but you have to know the rules and you have to play the game. So make sure that you are aware. Go ahead and do those things that you know to do. If you have that authorized user, uh, available to you. Go ahead and get in now in 2018 before these new changes take effect. Um, go ahead and do all the things that you need to do to start building that score. It doesn't mean that you stop doing those things that you've done in the past, but I do want you to know that next year when they roll out this ultra FICO score, that that's what they'll be looking for. So you're ahead of the game. You're ahead of the rest of the world, uh, rest of America that's not aware of this coming out and the implications of utilizing your checking account, guys. Remember, they're not looking at your savings account. They are looking at your checking account and a utilization there and whether or not you're going into overdraft protection to determine credit worthiness. All right, guys? So make sure that you stay on top of that. This is the first time in history, if you look at the history of FICO scores, and I, I mentioned earlier, 1989 is when they started doing this. If you look at the history of FICO scores, this is the first time they're looking at something that's not related to money being borrowed. They're looking at your cash flow, okay, guys? And that's very important. That's one of the things that I talk about. Get your best, put your best foot forward right now because you can't fudge your bank account, <laughs> right? Your money doesn't have to be funny, but you got to do what you need to do to get it in order so that you come through on this, all right? So you no longer are you saying, no longer will you say, 
I'm not good with money. Change that language. Say, I'm working on my financial priorities, right? And don't say I'm broke. Don't say I can't afford it. Say, that is not a financial priority for me right now. And know what your financial priorities are, guys. Those are some of the money beliefs today that keep you broke when you continue to tell yourself that over and over and over. And the final money belief that I want to share with you today, guys, that keep people broke is the concept that people think that just because you have money, people with money are greedy. And contrary to popular belief, now some of them, let me be real, okay? Some of them, yes. But contrary to popular belief, the majority of them are not. The majority <coughs> of them are givers. The majority of them do take chances on people. It's just when the people come at you in the wrong way that a, a, a barrier comes up or a wall comes up because you know how people do. Because you know exactly what you would have done had you known. Had JoJo won that $1.6 billion uh, in the lottery a couple of weeks ago, I guarantee you she would have had some old friends. Fearless Morning Show would have been pat popping off with comments flowing just <laughs> continuously with people putting their sob stories up and asking for money because that's what happened. So guys, the majority of people with money are not greedy. Get rid of that belief. That's a money belief that keeps you broke. I'm Lynn Demons, America's number one financial rebound coach. Yeah, I said it, America's number one. Guys, I'm going to invite you over to check out my website, DemonsEnterprise.com. That's Demons, no demons here, y'all. D-E-M-M-O-N-S, DemonsEnterprise.com. I have a lot of information over there to help you manage your money better. Guys, <clears throat> get those things taken care of. Money is a tool. Poor fools are some of the greediest people. Girl, you better say that, Trenda. You better say that. But I'm going to leave that right there alone because I'm sure that no one needs. <laughs> they probably know somebody, probably thinking of 10 people right now. For, okay, folks. <laughs> Uh, I, 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 you know what, Trenda, I think you said it right the first time, but I hear you folks, not fools. Don't call anybody a fool, right? <laughs> folks. <laughs> yep, I hear you, girl. But guys, go check it out, DemonsEnterprise.com. Free resources over there to help you get your life right. Also, I'm going to be instating something else for us on Friday. It's just got paid Fridays and... Your money don't got to be funny. So we'll figure that out for you. I'll be sh sharing some information with you every Friday to help you get your money right, guys, because it's about make your money, keep your money, and grow your money. That's what we do over here. All right, Miss Co-host, over to you. All right, guys. Um, That's some good information. I have read that on LinkedIn or MSN or somebody about the new FICO score. And Trina said something that's very true for young people. That's going to be, you know, that's going to be hard with that. I'm just, oh, I'm in college and I'm graduating and I don't have a job, but I got student loans. So make sure that you are always informed and you have the information that you need to have. All right. So today, guys, the fill of for today is I have on this thing. I don't, I don't know where the camera is. Uh, but it says Freedom Hacker. And I saw this button. Miss Margaret, if y'all don't watch Miss um, Mornings and uh, Margaret in the mornings, she comes on at 6 a.m. She got me fired up this morning. Miss Margaret <laughs> said, go out and do the work. She said, I am my brother's keeper, but my brother got to do some work. Okay. And I was like, go ahead, Miss Margaret. <laughs> she was on it. Y'all make sure y'all go check out her video. She'll get you um, inspired this morning. So she got me all inspiring and I came across this pen that Lynn you have this pen too we went when we went to San Antonio we got this pen uh, and it's called Freedom Hackers uh, the little short lady with the blue hair purple hair everybody <clears throat> had blue hair in San Antonio well she was my she was shorter than me and she was one of the speakers so she gave okay, out this okay, is one yeah. of her things Kimra, yeah. Kimra Luna okay yes him. Yes. I couldn't think of that. So she gave out these freedom hackers. Yes, and I is. saw it this morning and it kind of inspired me and reminded me that 
essentially that's what we do here on the fearless morning show we are freedom hackers we show you guys or inform you of information that you need to learn to live past crazy in your life and finances and get the freedom that you need to continue to do that so you don't have to stay in crazy today this is what's today thursday or wednesday wednesday dog got to be more careful i it's sure thought it was thursday, thursday. <laughs> October 31st. Hey, Miss hey, Kimberly. It's Wednesday. So this is Hump Day Wednesday. So today, guys, we are Freedom Hackers here. I want that to be your new, the new name for you for today. You are Freedom Hacker. You are trying to get outside of your crazy. But I want you to take every opportunity today to make one step towards living outside of your crazy. And you may say you never have the opportunity. Yes, you do. It's just that sometimes you don't want to do the work of that opportunity. And as Miss Margaret, please watch Margaret in the mornings. She said, you've got to be able to do the work. If you want to take a break, that's fine. You can take a break, but you cannot stop. You have to continue on. So today, on this hump day Wednesday, take one step closer to live past your crazy take that opportunity if you think you don't have one today to i am extending to you an opportunity to live past crazy today you can do it you're far smarter than you ever thought you're smart far brighter oh <laughs> i know miss trinder we've been missing you girl where you been so you, i want you to take one step forward to where you want to be no matter how big or how small and what you will find is doors well not doors but the next step is going to be revealed to you or it could be the next door as soon as you say it and then you start to believe it it is going to happen but you got to have belief in yourself and with that belief comes the action of work you've got to when i tell you there's absolutely no way around the work right you have to be yes you got to keep moving if we are freedom hackers lynn and i and you guys are freedom hackers too Set yourself free from that today. And then think about it on a whole nother level. If you don't want to do it for yourself, think about your children. Think about the habits that you are instilling in them every day. Think about your routines that you're instilling in, in your children and your family every day. Do you want them to have, I sure will, Miss Mar, uh, Miss Val, Minister Valerie, do you want them to have the same uh, life that you are having because whether we want to believe it or not our habits and our routines are setting our children up to continue with i think it a couple of months ago uh y'all when i got over my fear of flying that was what in april lynn april or may yes, yes april. i really i was reading i was reading this book right here and i'm never far without this book and it's called the untethered soul of uh, the journey beyond yourself and I was sitting at the airport. I tell the story right fast. I was sitting at the airport and I'm petrified to get on the plane from Texas. And I was like, oh Lord, I'm going to be sick. And then I came across a chapter in this book, a paragraph, and it said that your fears are hereditary. What have you inherited from your family and your friends that are their fears that now are your fears and you have no idea where they come from. And so for me, I took time right there in that airport to break my fear of flying down. My mother wanted to be an airline stewardess. She went to school, but she never stepped foot on a plane. She didn't step foot on the plane because her mother told her that she had just realized planes was falling out the sky. Her mother was afraid to fly. And because her mama told her, and that's her words, that planes was falling out the sky, she couldn't get on the plane. And so my mother inherited her mother's fear of flying. Even though she never had it in the beginning, she went to school to be a stewardess. But because her mother told her planes was falling out the sky, all of a sudden she's afraid. And then my mother passed it on to me. So I'm afraid of flying. And then I'm passing it on to my kids. My kids are afraid of flying. We three generations in of an inherited fear that had nothing to do with us. And we're passing it along to our children. So think about that today in your daily actions and your daily thoughts. What are you passing along to your children? What fear of yours are you passing along to them? Is it fear of making money and being successful? Because that is a fear. 
and people see that your kids see that every day. They they if your children are saying, "Mama, you know you could do this. Ma, you know you could do that," but they don't want to. Right. You are teaching your children not to step out on their dreams. But You're Jojo, teaching your Jesus, children. How are you gonna get back home? You flew from Atlanta to San Antonio, a, girl. That, and I live, and that's to the come thing. Back from San Antonio to Atlanta to North Carolina. How how does that work? It didn't matter. The point was I was scared. I was so scared. Like, y'all, when I tell you I was scared, physically ill, in the bathroom, sick on the stomach, couldn't eat, couldn't drink, sick. Yeah, I, but I knew... Because she left all her food for me in the room. When I, I left... Like, I left everything. I told Lena there's a whole... I paid like $6 for some chicken salad this big. I left the entire container there. Because I was like, if I get on the plane... And here's the thing with fear. You can work... I worked myself into a panic attack. I woke up. I told Lena I can't go to the meeting this morning. I don't feel... Did I not? The night before yes. I was sick. Yes, that morning I got up, I said, Lena, I can't go. I'm sick. I don't feel good. I had worked myself into a panic attack on somebody else's fear. And when I tell you it came to me in that darn airport and I started crying... I was like, Jesus, amen, let's work it out in a public place, A to the men. And I got on that plane, and not only did I get on that plane, I didn't hyperventilate. I didn't have a heart attack because I'm not in control of the plane. It didn't bother me that I could touch 12 people at one time with one hand, and I'm only 5'2". I got over there. I, I went to sleep. I had some juice, honey. I was living, I watched a movie. I was living my best life. Once I realized that my fear was hereditary. It had nothing to do with me. Right, Trenda? It's not always logical. And my fear was not logical. And, and if you think about it, why am I afraid of heights? When as a kid, I was climbing trees and jumping out of them. At 10, I had tied bed sheets to my bed and was climbing down the side of the house out the window to go play because my mama said I couldn't go play. I mean, I ain't never been afraid of heights until somebody kept saying it and instilled it in me so today be a freedom hacker okay stop passing on your your fears to your children they don't deserve it they deserve to live their best life no trina if i do that please understand i'm gonna have a panic attack if i face my fears with the worst case scenario no my lord jesus the plane could go down i'm about to i'm gonna have a panic attack on ten thousand. i've got a picture the good stuff at the <laughs> other end. Okay. I'm, like, I'm about to go. Play. I'm about to see my babies. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, Courtney going to be there. And, you know, so I had to picture right. the good stuff. But today, guys, please let go of those, those hereditary fears or things that you have adopted from your family. And just because your mom and them live that way does not mean that you have to live that way. So think about that on hump day, Wednesday. What do you want to give up that your mama them, your grandma them passed on to you that you don't necessarily understand and you don't like? Have you ever had a rule in the family and you be like, why do we do that? Girl, I did that for real. When I tell you, and here's the thing, Miss Magdalene lived behind us. And so she, Miss Magdalene called my mama and told her, me and my me and my best friend Tim was climbing out the window. My mama met me down there with that belt as I was coming down that sheet, honey. She was right there with that belt. Needless to say, Jojo did not climb out a window. Now nah, more after that. I just <laughs> no more after that. <laughs> but I did it for real. Yeah, I was a tomboy. Oh and I wanted to go outside real, and play. A real uh -huh. life jailbreak. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I broke out of jail, y'all. I did. I broke out. She told me and Tim we could play Army in the room. Well, how you going to play Army in a room? Like, I had to be outside to play Army. I couldn't play Army in a small bedroom. It required us escaping out of prisoner's jail, you know, and shimmying down the side of the wall to Miss Magdalene calling toll on me. And uh, I every time I see Miss Magdalene, I remind her that she got me the beating of my life. Cause my mama, every and I was coming down, honey. That belt was coming down. It was not right. pretty. It was but you not. know what? But, it's huh? crazy. Today, I bet if someone saw the child climbing out the window with the sheets, 
They'll be like, uh-oh, there go that child. It won't even call and tell you or say anything. They'll be like, it's not my business. Same thing happened. Miss Magdalene <laughs> was on it. Miss Magdalene, Miss right? Maxine, Mr. June was not letting JoJo get by with, with nah, nothing, honey. Right? Nah, nothing. Mm -mm. I, <laughs> I couldn't get by with nothing. All right, guys. Be freedom hackers today. Stop passing on hereditary things. Take one step forward to live out your uh, opportunity today. So today is your opportunity. I'm giving it to you. All right, guys. Don't. This is the last day of Domestic Violence Month. This is the last day to get my two books on sale for six dollars a piece. They are on Amazon. All you gotta do is put in my name, and the books will pop up. I'm the only y'all meet your JoJo Waddell out there. So if you put my name in there, the books will come up. Um, and also, we haven't mentioned this in a while, Lynn, but we do have Be Fearless jewelry. We have Be Fearless earrings. We have bracelets in different colors. We do have t-shirts. We have bags. So if you go over to BAFearless.com, you can see all the apparel and the jewelry that we have for Be Fearless. So if you want to gift that to someone for the holidays, uh, please go over there and place your order. If you do not see the color of bracelets that you want, let me know and we can have those specially made for you as well. And then don't forget to please give to your local shelters. This is the last day of domestic violence. It does not have to be the last day that you donate or that you seek out somebody, a sister or brother that is in need. See, that minister Valerie be on them scriptures. Got to be. She good. But God have not given us a spirit of fear. <laughs> a to the men and a sound mind. That's most important. You're not crazy, boo. You're not crazy. Keep on doing what you need to do. So, guys, uh, make sure you check out um, the website, BAFearless.com. We have the jewelry. Um, we have the jewelry. We have bags. We have T-shirts. We have earrings. And we do have the earring and necklace and bracelet sets available. So make sure you check them out and gift it to somebody for the holidays. And the books are on sale for $6. Anything else, Lynn, before I close, I close out for real, for real? Guys, just remember, life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you respond. Go out there and give your best response. Live your best life for real on this Wednesday. All right, y'all? Thank you so much for your time, for joining us every day for the Fearless Morning Show. We know time is your most precious commodity. You can't get these minutes back, but you decided to spend them with us. We appreciate you for that. So thank you so much for joining us here, guys, every day, 7.15 a.m. Don't forget about YouTube. Miss JoJo, how many shows we have? Oh, child, we're a good 210 strong on the, over there on the YouTube 10. channel. So make sure that if your friends and family don't have Facebook, you sit them on over to YouTube and pick a topic that you want them to know about so um, they can binge watch the feelings. We are seasons and years on TV over there on YouTube. So, so that's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be... Huh? What'd you say? Holla at your girls. I mean, I'm girl. I'm just putting it out there. I was gonna say, I'm while we waiting on is the phone call from from the network is all I'm saying. And well, we like we ain't we even got to call them. We might have to take some action and call them. You know, I <laughs> hello. <laughs> is this Netflix? <laughs> is it, my name JoJo. Yeah, you don't know me, but let me tell you who I be, girl. <laughs> Okay, so all right. we can't go that route, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. I hope you have an amazing Wednesday. Please make sure you share the video with your friends, your family, anybody you know who needs to live past crazy. I promise. Well, Lynn, can you put Margaret's link in here for her morning show? Because morning, uh, um, mornings with Margaret, Margaret in the mornings, uh, she got me all caught up today. That's why we got this Freedom Hacker um, subject for today. So make sure that you do. That's right. Congratulations, cause we about to, we gonna be on TV. That now that I have no doubt. Just so, hold so fast. This is hold TV. Fast. This is TV. Huh? We are we already on TV. They yeah, that's us true. In the same way, the, the, the cell phone. That's the new TV. That's right? true. That's the that's new true. TV. We don't have to worry about even if Netflix don't call us, we gonna be all right. Netflix. We gonna be all right. You get to see Lynn <laughs> in our face. Every morning at 715, Monday through Friday. Come on over here, girl. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you have an amazing day, and we'll see you here bright and early for real on Thursday tomorrow morning. Have a good one. Signing off.